final day of Winter's Tale means the final close season update filmed from Winter's Tale. So here's a final look of all the areas I can access right now on January 6th. I was going to say no changes are happening around Black Buccaneer, but I have noticed that the the support structure, part of it at least, has now actually appeared on the truck which the boat is sitting on. Uh, I haven't, I don't remember seeing it there before. Apart from that, nothing's changed. The pit's not flooded anymore, but and the cable, I don't remember seeing this cable up here. But other than that, nothing major's changed over here. Uh, I think we'll still have to get somewhat near to Black Buccaneer and the site all throughout Zoo Days and going forward towards March, so hopefully we'll get an idea as to what's happening and what's going on as we move forward into 2020. No changes that I can see here looking into Land of the Dragons, but it is supposed to be open for February Halftime Animal Adventures, so I assume progress will be made once Winter's Tale has concluded. Uh, hopefully they'll all be ready for February half time. Still got about six weeks, so they've still got a lot of time. Uh, but I'm, I'm sure they'll be ready. <laughs> So there is work going on down here at the site of Flying Jumbos, or as it's now supposedly going to be called, Elmer's Flying Jumbos. Uh, little progression when I was last here, but it looks like it's just sort of minimal work at the moment. The usual, the usual utilities that are still being put in place, and just general little pieces of work around the area. There are, there are uh, staff on site today. I don't like the fact that I'm taking photos of the work. <laughs> Again, it's very apparent that Toad is being worked on today. There's lots and lots of diggers on site. Uh, if you look really carefully, you don't have to look really hard because even I found it difficult to look on the camera. You can see they're starting to put the very bottom layer of the foundations down for the extended bit of track that they're building. So that's now starting to go in, which is really exciting. That's really cool. So starting to keep an eye if we can get up here in the coming weeks. And if not, then we'll probably see a completed bit of track uh, when we next can get up here, which will either be February half term or when it's open. So yeah, there's lots going on uh, over here at the Tony's Retheme and overall at Chessington today, to be fair. Now over the weekend, Chessington Buzz suggested that this here could be foundation to see Truth or Poppers flipped around. Uh, now if that does happen, one can assume it's going to be part of the new sort of sub area they're creating with the Tony's Re-theme and the Mini Log Flume. But where does that leave the Gruffalo Arena? 
because that that this Tony's Tree Hoppers and Bluff Arena, they're Africa. So what's going to happen to Africa is Africa going to be basically turned into this new area, and the Gruffler is going to get given its own area or given to Adventure Point. I don't know. But another thing that I also wonder about is what's going to happen to the queue because if they're flipping Tree Top Hoppers around, I can't see they'd want to leave the queue the way it is because parents would, would uh, have to be going around to all random sides to uh, take, pop their kids in the queue, take them off and photograph it. So that's something I'm interested to know, is, is the queue also going to get flipped around if, obviously, if the, these get flipped around? Because this is only a suggestion at the moment, we don't know what's happening. Chessington Buzz suggested it and I, and I think it's a, it's a good point, it's an interesting point. So, it's def it is one to watch, I've been saying very it's one to watch, it's definitely one to watch because it's going to be interesting. So down here with the mini log flume, it appears more foundations have gone in place. There's a huge crane on site, uh, lots of stuff in the skin. Uh, it just appears that work is generally ongoing. One thing I'm, I'm interested to see is when we're going to start seeing foundations for the final turn toes that's also been taken out. Uh, so is that being done as well, because it is quite difficult to see from here like the other one. But work appears to be progressing very well and moving at a very fast pace and it, it's looking like it's going to be ready for the start of the season, which will be awesome. So the huge 888 minute queue for Rattlesnake is still here. Other than that, nothing's changed down here. Hopefully, Scorpius Express will be ready for Animal Adventures. It'd be nice to sit back for Animal Adventures because it didn't uh, make 2019's lineup, but it was in the, the few years prior. So fingers crossed it's going to be coming back. But yeah, so that's it. That's the end of close season updates from Winter's Tale. It's unlikely we'll get many, if any more, during Zoo Day, simply because I don't imagine being able to get to so many places. Uh, if I can do one, then I certainly will, but I'm not forcing one out just for the sake of it. So this may be the last close season update until Animal Adventures time, uh, when we get access to different parts of the park and there, and there are different things to see. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Comment down below what you think Chessington's doing behind, cl behind closed doors, things you'd like to see happen for 2020 and beyond, and don't forget to follow my Instagram and Twitter, the links will be in the description, and my hands will be on screen at the end of the video.